Piers Morgan warned the BBC's Ross Atkins he would destroy him in a heated debate on the media show. Piers Morgan told the BBC's Ross Atkins he would destroy him in ratings with his brand new talk TV show, Uncensored. During their lively debate, Piers also hit out at ITV. Ross asked, what's your definition of success? If you came back on the media show in two, three, four years' time. If I'm still on air, replied Piers. That'll do, asked Rose. Yeah, Rupert Murchach, doesn't muck around, said Piers. Rose asked if that meant, Piers' show would be canned if it didn't reach high enough viewing figures. Piers replied, it's a hard thing to calculate, what numbers represent success, it's going to take time because of all the different calibrations and ways they are assessed around the world. But I think we are all going to know whether we've got a hit show on our hands within a few months, if people are tuning in with big numbers. If we are growing it, if we're dominating the social media zeitgeist in the way I used to at Good Morning Britain. If we are becoming the center of debate in three continents, then I think I will have done my job and it will be very exciting. If not, I'll be back to the beach for a while. Rose replied, well, I'd love to be watching but I am going to be on air on BBC News, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to destroy you, Piers quipped back. Earlier on in the interview, Piers slammed ITV for the way his departure from the show was handled. Piers stormed off the show back in March 2021 after claiming he didn't believe Meghan Markle suffered suicidal thoughts, which she opened up about during an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Speaking about his departure from Good Morning Britain and the ITV studios, Piers described his sadness for how it happened. He explained, the sadness for me is that ITV had always been unbelievably strong in protecting my right to express my honestly held opinions right to the end, but suddenly they lost their bottle. Disagreeing, Rose fired back, well, hold on a minute, ITV's chief executive says they defended you vigorously.